Welcome to a brief overview of the Gene Database, developed and maintained by the National Library of Medicine's National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI. Gene is an important resource because it collects together in one place information on each gene and provides links to other NCBI and related databases. This introduction includes a focus on links to the PubMed database. Access Gene by using the drop-down menu from any of the NCBI interfaces. Let's look at CFTR, the gene associated with cystic fibrosis. At this moment, there are nearly 3,060 individual gene records referencing CFTR, of which 353 come from humans. Although these records are sorted by relevance to the search term, to be certain you have the correct genetic record, search the database with the official symbol for your gene. Of these 96 records, the first one is the human gene. Because this record is so large, note the table of contents on the right-hand side and the additional links to National Library of Medicine databases and other genetic resources. This first summary section opens with the official symbol and the full name of the gene as defined in the public database of the Human Genome Organization's Gene Nomenclature Committee. However, as you can see from the also known as list, not everyone has used that official symbol in their publications. This gene encodes a protein, and the summary includes information on how that protein functions and potential issues with gene mutations. The RefSeq status is reviewed. Thus, in this gene record, the CFTR gene sequence is an annotated reference sequence curated by NCBI with unique identifiers and serving as a baseline for medical, functional, and comparative studies. Genomic context describes where the gene lives. In this case, the gene is on chromosome 7, the Q, or long arm, in region 31.2. For information on how chromosomes are mapped, see the article by Claire O'Connor. The Genome Reference Committee submitted the most recent assembly of the human reference genome to GenBank in December of 2014. Because new data and corrections have changed CFTR's location on the chromosome, Gene includes information on both the current and past assembly to assist researchers. Note that the CFTR gene starts after the 117.4 millionth base pair on chromosome 7 in this current assembly. This diagram shows the direction in which the gene is read. Remember the double helix can be read in either direction, and convention states that the chromosome be presented with a shorter arm on top or to the left. CFTR then is read toward the right, but this nearby CTTNBP2 gene is read toward the left or shorter arm of the chromosome. This next section provides a type of gene browser that offers a tremendous amount of information. Click on the green line representing the gene. Now you can see information on the gene in green, information on the messenger RNA in blue, and information on the translated protein in red. Multiple blue and red lines represent splice variants, variants which can generate different messenger RNAs. Experimentally verified transcripts begin with N, while well, variants beginning with X represent a predicted MRA transcript or transcribed protein. Now let me jump to a specific location on the gene and zoom in. Note that the larger bars represent exons and the smaller bars are introns. An important concept for researchers is clinical variation, when variations in the gene have clinical significance. The darker the color, the more pathogenic or deadly the variation. Notice that this particular variation, RS1800111, has a PubMed citation associated with it. Additional information in the browser includes the gene sequence, SNPs, the single nucleotide polymorphisms, or how individuals differ from one another, and information on exons and introns, all with links to related databases. This next section, Bibliography, needs no introduction. These are selected PubMed citations focusing on the human CFTR gene. For citations on similar genes in other species, homologs, click on this final link. If you need citations focusing on a specific function of a gene, this section on gene rifts, gene references into function, can be very helpful. A single sentence is taken from the title or abstract that concisely describes the function or functions of the gene in that article. These links will take you into PubMed, just as PubMed citations can bring you back into Gene. 
There is a great deal of additional information in the gene record, which we will cover in future videos, including phenotypes, variation and pathways, interactions, which link to PubMed citations discussing those interactions, protein information, reference and related sequences, and resource links. I do want to highlight the Gene Ontology section, which summarizes and provides PubMed citations for functions, processes, and components known for this gene. Ontology is the study of what exists, and gene ontology is the controlled vocabulary of terms describing gene product characteristics and is compiled by the Gene Ontology Annotation Database. Stay tuned for more on gene.